The movie Rocky Balboa came out in 2006. And now this movie follows um, Rocky V, which um, featured, you know, Rocky going back to his roots pretty much. If you see my review on the fifth one, I did not enjoy it. And now this movie features a older Sylvester Stallone. Obviously, this takes place, um, or an older Rocky, obviously, in 2006. So he's going to be way older than he was in the previous films, which came out years before. Still, though, this one features him where the fir where um, the fifth one basically left off. You know, he's, um, or in the same place, at least. He is just where, you know, he's in the same area. He's in the same kind of area. And, um, he has a restaurant open, and, um, yeah, and yeah, so there's this other fighter, though, that we get to see at the beginning of the movie, who's, like, you know, he's undefeated, but he's not fighting other people that are in his prime. He's kind of like Jake Paul in that way, actually. Another, like, guys, hear me out, Rocky, and, and, uh, this other guy? Now, that could work, though. So then they're like, okay, fine. And after some time, they choose to fight. And now this movie, I feel like, did what the fifth one tried to do, but actually did it well. Because what they wanted to do with the fifth one is they wanted to bring Rocky Balboa back to his roots. So now with the movie actually titled Rocky Balboa, I think this one was mainly supposed to close off the Rocky story, and it does that very well. You know, we see lots of the locations from the first one, and... It, the way it shows that level of nostalgia is done so well in this movie, better than it was in the in the um, for, in the fifth one. And um, we get to see Marie, which if you don't remember Marie, she was the um kid in the first movie, I, I believe. And um, yeah, so they have an interesting relationship in this movie, which is which is good. I mean, they focus on it maybe a little bit more than it needs to be focused on, because they just need an extra like character i guess i'm not mad about her inclusion i just don't think it was totally necessary and there could have been a lot of time cut down with her but i guess she is the one that kind of gives him the inspiration to go back in and um go back to fighting so there always has to be somebody to go push him that extra mile to get him back into fighting and um yeah and also something i should mention in this fight at the very end it is played completely differently than it ever has been in any of the other movies. Because in this movie, you have um, Rocky. Not only is it shot kind of how a real boxing match is shot for a lot of it, the fight is also shot sometimes in black and white with just a little bits of color um, sprinkled in here and there. But it's also kind of shot like, kind of like hazily with like, with like shaking, with like, with like the camera shaking and, like, random shots, and, like, soft flashes, kind of like, um, Rocky's, kind of like the perspective from Rocky, kind of, in a way. So, yeah, this one's shot a lot differently with, you know, black and white sometimes, sometimes it's flashes of other, other, of other things, and stuff like that. But yeah, I do love how they integrate, like, stuff from the first movie into this one. You know, with a lot of the nostalgic aspects, seeing the older locations, and, um, Polly's great in this movie, and, um, yeah, Rocky Balboa, um, just, it's an amazing, um, exit for the Rocky Balboa character in his set of movies, um, and yeah, so yeah, that is pretty much just Rocky Balboa, now I'm, I'm gonna move on to the good, the okay, and the bad, and then, um, ranking, and the video's over, so yeah, the good, so this is Lynn's performance, it's obviously, yeah, everything good is basically just most of the film, um, yeah, uh, something that some things are okay is, um, Marie, Rocky's relationship with Marie, it's good, but I think too much screen time is actually given to the, screen time is given to the character and their relationship. And, um, yeah, so, anything that's bad, really, I don't think there really is. This is a great send-off for the Rocky Balboa character in his set of movies. So yeah, guys, um, that's Rocky Balboa. If y'all enjoyed this video or any of my other content, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Also, this movie uh, is an A. And also, out of 10, I'd probably give this movie an 8.5. Out of 100, I'd give this movie like an 88, I think. I think that's, yeah.